interview with John Donahoe, the new CEO of Nike, Sarah. Morgan, yes, hi, I am here at Nike's New York headquarters where they are unveiling all of the new Olympic uniforms, have a big innovation event, and joining me is John Donahoe. He is the brand new CEO of Nike. So great to see you and congratulations on the job. Thank you, Sarah. Thrilled to be here with you. So this, this is your coming out party. What, what do you have to tell investors about yourself and the way you're going to run this company? Well, I'll tell you, it's been one month in and it's been spectacular. And two things really stand out from that first month. As I was just saying to you, I spent my first week at Nike in China and Japan getting a chance to see firsthand the incredible connection Nike has with consumers, not just here in the U.S., but all over the world. Chinese consumers, Japanese consumers deeply connect with Nike's product and with the brand and what it stands for. And then the second thing that stands out, Sarah, and coming from tech, you know how much I love innovation. Nike's commitment to innovation is unlike anything I've seen in my career. I've spent full days with our design teams and our innovation teams, our product teams, and the breadth and depth and commitment to innovation is simply spectacular. So well, I'm having the time of my life. A lot of that is on display today. We're getting a look at these new uniforms. What do you want investors to take away from what we're seeing? Well, it's, it's really this innovation that's going to be profiled at the Olympics demonstrates two things that I think really distinguish Nike. One is investing in innovation that delivers improved performance for athletes. And the Vaporfly Next Percent platform does just that. You all know that's the this shoe This is the that, controversial one. Well, yes, and it's a shoe that Khashoggi broke the two-hour mark in the marathon. And what we're announcing today is a full line so that athletes in Tokyo of all distances can take advantage of that performance-enhancing technology. Is the criticism around that unfair, that it adds 4% and almost gives a mechanical advantage to runners? But it's, not a, it's not a mechanical advantage. It's simply using the same materials that go into a shoe and putting them together in an innovative way that allows the athlete to do their very best in a safe way. And the other thing is sustainability. Sustainability, yeah. that's the second part. Yeah. And, and, you know, climate change is impacting sport. In fact, Tokyo is likely to be the warmest Olympics on record. And so our athletes care about this topic. And so Nike is investing heavily in sustainability. And you're going to see some incredible product released tonight, unveiled tonight. So, for instance, all the Olympic U.S. athletes that will be on the medal stand will be wearing a Nike jacket and Nike pants that are made of 100% recycled materials. And so Nike, as I think you know, is the largest uh, recycler of polyester in the world. Over a billion plastic bottles are recycled each year into NBA jerseys or the jerseys that the U.S. women's soccer team wore last year in the World Cup. So the investment and commitment to innovating in a sustainable way is something that matters to our athletes and it matters to Nike.